All right. So, so you've got a lot of family coming in. Uh, right well, after Christmas? well, actually, uh, my son is coming in after Christmas. After Christmas. Because look at what I'm doing here. I yeah, know. he's he's coming in after Christmas. Pay no attention to what she's doing with yes. her script here. No. Okay. Uh, in in January, because uh, you know he got married this year, as you know, and yeah. so he took some he took some time off for that, and he doesn't have a lot of time left. So we've got to wait for the turn, you know. And then also he's still in college, so okay. between the job and and the break and everything, he, they couldn't come until after. But. And we'll be looking forward to seeing him in Very January. Good. Yes. Very good. All right. And again, this is gorgeous. I've, I've loved these necklaces that you've gotten. Uh, Deb Carpenter, again, coming on the show to show us how to make them ourselves. Yes. All right. Let's check in with Alyssa Marino, who's going to tell us what's happening in the news. Alyssa. Thanks, you guys. Let's take a look at what our news team is working on today. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Today is also known as one of the busiest travel days of the year. Our reporter, Mary Kate Manning, will be speaking with AAA to find out what gas prices will be looking like, and she'll give you tips if you happen to be one of the millions hitting the roads today. Just follow Mary Kate on Twitter for the inside scoop. Also, you might remember KK Bold holding a contest for local organizations a couple months ago. Well, the winner in this contest would get a grant from KK Bold to use for advertising and marketing of their product. Well, the winner has been announced and it's going to designer jeans. Just follow reporter Nina Carter on Twitter to find out more about what happens for them now. And to serve as the perfect appetizer for your Christmas Eve meal this evening, Howard and his team are cooking up a Parmesan bread wreath. Interesting. Back to you guys. All right. All right that looks good. Yeah, you know, that was my job this Christmas is to, for Christmas Eve, tonight at my mom's house is to bring the rolls and so yesterday I tried to order them from the bread poet. Wait, 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 wait. You don't hand make the rolls? You Not when Christmas is on a Wednesday. Oh, okay. No, I do not. And so I'm going to have to depend on my husband to get the rolls this morning. Hint, hope hint, hope hint, they're, hint, hint. Hopefully not all gone. No, they, if it, hey, if you're listening there at the bread poet, mm -hmm. save me two bags. All right. All right. Anyway, but the weather, it, it, was, it was so nice to be able to go outside this morning and not have my nostrils stick together. Yeah, on yeah. Big change from yesterday's yeah. temperatures. <laughs> we went from, you know, temperatures of around 24 below to right now it's 12 above. And really the only folks still below zero are Fargo and Grand Forks. And uh, you can see it's already around 35 in Buffalo, 32 in Hedinger and Baker. Now with that warm front moving through, we are going to see more wind and snow and uh, you can see wind chills uh, in Grand Forks and Fargo still in that 20 to 25 below range and here's the snow it's moved through Bismarck we got a little light snow this morning and you can see east of the capital city all along I-94 and into Grand Forks we've got snow moderate to light this morning we'll zoom in on in you can see that the heavier bands of snow have now moved out of Bismarck and into the Hazelton, Napoleon, Wishick and Ashley areas and we do have some freezing rain to show you as well south of the border and basically south of Mobridge we've got freezing rain moving through and uh, that could cause some problems for travelers this morning so uh, if you're heading out early to uh, get the grandmother's house for Christmas Eve, uh, allow a little extra time as we're also, in addition to the snow, going to run into some blowing snow because of the wind. Or if you're heading out early to get the rolls. Either or way. Or to get the rolls. I don't think that we'll have a problem doing that. <laughs> All right, thanks okay. a lot. You're Claire. really good at giving those hints, by the way. Yeah, well, it's more hint, than a hint, hint because I'm going to be in big trouble if the rolls are gone. So. <laughs> Okay. We're going to have to work on that. All right, something I wanted to mention. I can't believe Alyssa didn't mention this in her news update. Kate Winslet, okay, Little Miss Titanic and everything like that. She just had her third child, mm -hmm. and she named him Bear. Bear. All right, Bear, Bear Winslet. Why? I don't know. I don't know, Bear? but Bear. All right, but the precedent had already been set by Alicia Silverstone, who named her son Bear Blue. So well, it's I guess if you can name your children Apple or Apple, I don't know what's wrong with dishwasher, you know, bear, sink, detergent. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I I thought that was pretty big news. Like, so like the bear, a bear, B E A R. Of course, her husband's name Ned Rock and Roll. <laughs> really? Serious? Like, well, he changed his name <laughs> to Ned Rock and Roll. <laughs> so oh, I don't know why man. it isn't Bear Rock and Roll. But uh, anyway, that's, that was it, big it news. It paints a picture. All right. Okay. <laughs> you, you, um, last night in the newsroom here, while we were anchoring the five, you had an it, we, we all had an interesting conversation with your daughter. Mm -hmm. about, and she admitted that she broke up with a boyfriend recently. Uh, well, not recently, not recently. Years ago. She you, broke up with her boyfriend 
on Christmas Day. You know you're going to be in big trouble, right? Why? Well, because... He, oh, I didn't know this was supposed to be in the vault. He never knows. <laughs> he never knows. And well, no, it just reminded me because apparently this time of year, Christmas time, is the most popular time of the oh, year you to... you are in so much trouble. ...break up. So okay, much so trouble. Okay, she's, so she's normal. She's typical. She is very normal. She's very, <laughs> she a very typical. very normal young lady. Hannah, I'm sorry, okay? Um, okay. Uh, you can't fix it. <laughs> I ran across this article in Time Magazine uh, by Marina Ashdade, and she says, according to, you know, they track Facebook in these uh, relationship status updates. Mm -hmm. You know, you put on, you know, blah, blah, blah is in a relationship, mm -hmm. or yeah, blah, blah, blah is married. married you know, they, right. they track all that. Okay, and apparently you can you can be in a relationship, you can change that, you can unrelationship, and it happens most often at Christmas time. You unrelationship at to, Christmas. To you know, uh, you're no longer in a relationship all of a sudden at Christmas time. So why is that's this happening? So you don't have to buy an expensive gift. All right. Well, that's that would be the superficial reason. <laughs> well. But do you have to give back the diamond that he gave you if you break up with him an hour right. later? All right. What are relationships all about? Love and uh, uh, companionship and commitment. Commi okay, commitment. commitment. Relationships are all about commitment. So when Christmas time rolls around, there are many more opportunities than other times of the year to show that you're committed to someone. And then you realize at that point that you are not. Could happen. I'm not committed to you. And it's, and it's not just the gift giving thing. But I will keep the iPod. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> According to this article here, um, each one in the relationship is looking for indications that you are committed to this relationship. Okay? I see. Especially at Christmas. Okay? Because that's the time of year when we prove our love to each other. Exactly. Yeah, and even, I guess at Christmas it's even more exaggerated. You go above and beyond with, with the gifts. Okay, but in other ways as well. What else do you do at Christmas? You make the, the cookies, the nice dinner, you deal with the in-laws. You... Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's ding, ding. All right. You, if you're in a committed relationship, you're also telling your partner, hey, I want to not only be with you, but I want to be with your family. I'm taking and... on your family. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, that's part of the deal it as well. It certainly is. <laughs> it certainly for, is. For better or worse. That's okay, right. so. Anyway, and then uh, there was also, okay, so we're talking about gifts, being with family, and attending other social events together. Together, right. Okay, mm -hmm. so you got gifts, you got family, you got social events. Somebody Christmas. needs to drive him home when he over imbibes, right? Well, that could be part of it, I guess. I mean, it's a good <laughs> thing someone's there. That's right. Okay, so those three combined, Cliff I guess. never does that, by the way. <laughs> All right, anyway. Those three combined are just too much for people. And it, it just leads to a... And it just leads, you know, one or the other will just say, you know... I'm not feeling I'm it. I'm not feeling it as much. I'm not feeling it anymore. And so we're not... This isn't happening anymore. We're breaking up Merry Christmas. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. that kind of ruin Christmas for... It could. Yeah, well, I would assume it does. I yeah, would assume it does. That's kind of a bummer. Anyway, that's, now you know why this is the most popular time of the year to say... What a buzzkill. Tell me something yeah. nice here. All right. You want something nice? Yeah. I got something nice for you, okay? All so right. we have we have plus-size models. Yes, we okay? do. Okay. We have plus-size clothing for women. Mm -hmm. We have big and tall size clothing for guys. Mm -hmm. So why isn't there... How come the women, by the way, are plus-size and the guys get to be... <laughs> big and tall? Big and tall, which sounds manly. Plus-size sounds... I think, I think you need to talk to the... Or like if, it's, if, you're, if you're in Mexico, it's grande. <laughs> Muy grande. <laughs> Um, I think you need to talk to Madison Avenue about this, uh, but if yeah. you want to see what a plus size Barbie looks like, okay. all you have to do is go to Facebook. Okay, look at the. Well, uh, I would much rather see the plus size Barbie than that that ridiculous. Well, the ridiculous one on the right is the normal Barbie. But it's not normal. It, okay. I all mean, right, nobody right. looks like that. I mean, I I have seen studies where they they've deconstructed the Barbie and her. Yes. You know, if you look like that, you'd be a freak. Okay, if well, really like I'm that. not arguing with you, but PlusSizeModeling.com is now having this little discussion on Facebook, this debate on Facebook. And so they put the picture of the plus size Barbie on the left there up to see what you would think about it. So what do you think? I think that's great. I, I, Should you I'm, be able to buy a plus size Barbie? Yeah, I think I would do away with the double chin. 
Well, it's not just double. Let's see the picture the, the, one more the, the time. Picture, I think it's a triple chin. Yeah, I, 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 most people, I mean, no. come on. Yeah. No, I think the plus size is, I, actually, I think many, many more people, that's a normal size, whereas the other one is Okay, so maybe ridiculous. we need a happy medium Barbie. Yes. <laughs> okay. How about just a normal proportion? No, I, I think there have been studies. They, they've actually but shown... But, I mean, look at the face on that. Now, come what? on. It looks like she's... Uh, come on. <laughs> well, okay. What, what is that? Well, next up is the big and tall Ken. Okay. I, I wonder what that's going to look like. Big and tall, Big apparently. and tall Ken. Does he get a pot belly? Uh, <laughs> probably. You know, a beer belly? When I was pregnant, Cliff got me a pregnant Barbie. It was cute. And, there you was know, a pregnant Barbie. There was. I don't know where he got it, but, yeah, and then the... Then the tummy, you know, folded back in and the baby came out and then she had a flat tummy. It's I've never seen that. Seriously, yeah. a pregnant Barbie. I've got it around somewhere. I don't know where it well, is. Well, anyway, anyway uh, this, this whole thing on Facebook with the plus size Barbie, uh, it's, it's a lot of people commenting. Some, some have liked it. 30, let's see, 35,000, more than 35,000 people have liked the idea of a plus size Barbie. And then some of people have left some really not so nice kind of nasty comments about it so uh, yeah i you know what i don't know whatever <laughs> whatever there's a tv reporter barbie by the way i know all right i know okay one I, final thing again again that's a stereotype i don't i'm not sure i want to further but <laughs> okay all right as 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 the uh, as the woman who hires very talented young women and I guys say yes all yes, right. of course. Of course. Of course. We don't have time to get to this last one, so let's just talk about what's coming up here. All right. So All right. coming up, we've got, we're making beautiful jewelry. This is, it's, it's very intricate, and yet it is something that I think people can accomplish. If that's, yeah, if, if you know how to crochet, it'll be no problem yeah, for you, right. so stick around for that. Plus, if your college-age kids are home for the holidays, how do you deal with them if you are the parents? All of a sudden, dirty towels on the floor. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with more North Dakota Today. Is this pill the answer to your weight problem?